Vishnara, this leads us very, quite nicely into the next question, which is what more do you think the UK government could do to support refugee employment? Uh, what policies could be put in place? Well, I, I think that along with some of these sorts of things around positive action, supporting the organisations that are closest to refugee communities by funding those organisations, making sure that they can survive the pandemic and keep going and working with them to help them get into jobs, um, supporting uh, those who need psychological support and mental health and well-being support uh, if they've experienced, almost certainly would have experienced trauma, um, making sure that the benefit system and the support system that's in place is effective. You know, housing costs are really high. Um, if you're not able to work, then that restricts you a huge amount. Um, clearing up the legislation and uh, rules around who can work, who can't, because there are it's very clandestine. They're kind of uh, navigating your way through what you can and can't do. Um, giving employers very clear guidance on um, uh, what they can do to support refugees into work. Uh, I think those things will, will, will be better for doing those things as a society. Um, because we've got, for instance, a labour shortage in the care sector. We've got 100,000 shortage of nurses in the National Health Service. There will be others, others, as, uh, other, uh, we've got a lot of people from refugee communities who have trained as doctors in other countries. We need to accelerate the process of trans translating those skills into ones that are compatible with the UK. So as I said before about qualifications, but also looking at where we can um, support people to get into the sectors where we desperately need more people into the, in those jobs. Um, as we start to bounce back, hopefully out, out of this, this pandemic, there is going to be a labor shortage for sure, because the economy is gonna grow um, back to, back to pre-COVID levels and hopefully grow faster. And because of the, all the restrictions that have been put in because we've left the European Union, um, there's a real, there's gonna be a real need. So it just seems like madness not to help those who are in our country, whether it's young people who are UK citizens or those who are of refugee backgrounds who've got the right to work. Um, and if they haven't, let's sort out their status so that they can, um, that we're not putting them to work because they already are making a huge contribution. Some of the you know, greatest contributors in our society have been from refugee backgrounds and from minority backgrounds. So we've got a lot to gain if we do those things. And that's why the government needs to stop the rhetoric of intolerance and exclusion um, and frankly, racism and start to support everybody that's in our country to, make, to, to be able to make the contribution that they desperately want to make.